We will now cover some of the many load balancing methods that can be set up with a server pool. If you already added your pool, which we did in our case, you will go to the pool that was added. So let's go to local traffic, let's go to pools, and let's go into our HTTP pool. From here, you'll click on the drop menu for load balancing method. And this will show the list of the various ways for how we can load balance among our group of servers in this pool. So the default method is a simple round robin, which we use for our configuration, but there are other methods, which we will use in the next set of videos. Let's keep it simple and let's discuss round robin a little bit more. So we know that round robin is a static load balancing method that sends client requests evenly to each server in the pool one by one. It does not consider the performance or the number of connections. Let's demonstrate and monitor this behavior again. Now to speed things up and to generate a higher number of client requests, let's bring up a session that I have with my Mac, which is on the network. And here I can use the following command, and that will be curl or curl s, followed by the URL or address of the virtual server, basically typing in the virtual address for that virtual server, followed by the number of HTTP connections that we want to be established to that address. Now this would definitely produce some load on our big IP appliance. And let's run a total of five connections starting right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and do enter. Okay, so that is completed and that will display the actual HTML content from our web server since we're not using a web browser. But you will see that we have load balance among all of our web servers in a round robin fashion. So for example, we were connected to server one, which we see here for the headings. And there is Oh, there's server two that we also connected to. And we connected to, there it is, server three. And let's try another one up here. Oh, there it is, and server four. So this is the load balancing behavior of round robin. Let's view the stats of our pool. Let's go to modular statistics and local traffic, and let's select pools. Okay, and there you will see a total of five connections and the connections were evenly distributed among our group of servers. Two of them went to web server one and the other ones went to each of the other servers. 